guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at the maximum zor for each query problem which is from lead code number 1829 we will be looking at the optimal solution we will be solving this problem using bit masking so i have already made a detailed video on how bit masking works so please click on the i button or go to the description section to have a look now let's look at the problem statement in this problem you are given a sorted array nums of n non-negative integers and an integer maximum bit you want to perform the following query n times find a non-negative integer k less than 2 to the power of maximum bit such that nums 0 to nums n minus 1 zord with k is maximized k is the answer to the ith query this is the first point the second point is after each query we need to remove the last element from the current array and repeat the same process we need to return an answer array where answer at i is the answer for the ith query before looking at an example let's look at the constraint in this case they have mentioned about maximum bit being uh, less than equal to 20 and all the nums i values will be less than 2 to the power of maximum bit right and nums is sorted in ascending order now let's look at an example for better understanding in this case let's say our given array is 2 3 4 7 my max bit is equals to 3 now our goal is to find a value k where k should be less than 2 to the power of max bit that means it should be less than 2 to the power 3 here such that if you take the zor from a0 till the last element and then zor it with the value k then that value has to be maximized after uh, the ith query like after the current query we need to remove the last item and we need to repeat the same process unless our array becomes empty that means if the array length is 4 then i have to repeat this process four times right in every query we need to record the answer and we need to return it as an answer array so let's consider the first uh, time query in the first time we will be finding the zor of all the numbers 2 3 4 7 and that will be 0 1 0 now i have to find a value k which should be less than 2 to the power of 3 in this case that means k should be less than 8 so if i pick k equals to 101 which is 5 then i get the maximum zor value if you zor it with 0 1 0 right and in that case i will be recording answer 5 in the next query i will be removing this 7 and then i will be finding out the zor from 2 to 4 which is 2 zor 3 zor 4 and then whatever number i get i have to try out all possible k values and see what is the maximum value you get you will be getting 2 as an answer right so this is how the answer is built and i hope you have understood the problem statement now if you want to solve this problem then the simplest approach to solve this would be just take the array and we know the maximum bit which is 3 we will find the zor of all the items 2 zor 3 zor 4 zor 7 which will be 2 in this case now i will be uh, trying this zor value with all possible uh, values from uh, st starting from 1 to 2 to the power of 3 and then see what will be the maximum value you get so if i zor it with 7 then i get the maximum value to be 5 after this process i will be iterating again from the first item till the second last item and find the zor value which is 5 and then try out with all possible values which one is giving me the max value so with 7k value you get the max value to be 2 okay so this process will get repeated again we will be trying with 2 3 and the and lastly with 2 and the answer will be 5 2 6 5 but in this case you see that uh, there is an unnecessary step of finding the zor every time we are repeating the process multiple times instead of doing this what if i pre-calculate the entire zor and that is pretty much possible so what i need to do is if i'm given this array 2 3 4 7 then instead of finding from first to the last element first to second last first to third last and so on we can pre-compute the zor value so for the first one the zor value will be 2 for the second one take the previous one and zor it with 3 the answer would be 1 then for the third one you take the zor with the previous prefix zor and then you just zor them and the answer would be 5 and then you take 5 and zor it with 7 and the answer in this case would be 2 so using this prefix zor what we can do is uh, whenever the request comes that find the zor from the first to the last element you can just see the last element and say this will be the zor from first to last element when i'm asking about what is the zor from the first to second last element you can just look at the second last element and say 5 will be the zor from the first to second last element right so this is how we can optimize uh, finding the prefix zor now let's see an idea to find out the optimal k value 
now in this idea let's say that we are given the n value equals to 5 which is 101 we need to find the maximum value after zoring with a number k where k must be less than let's say 2 2 to the power of 3 then what will be the value of k can you determine the value of k in one go now you see that when you have this 101 what would be my most optimal answer my most optimal answer would have been uh, to get 111 that means all the set bit to maximize right but then it may not be possible with the zor operator because the operator is fixed already right so in the zor operator you remember that one zor one will be zero and zero zor zero is also zero but if you take one zor zero or zero zor one they both will be one okay so we can use this property i want to set all the bits right so i can use this property and say that i will be taking zero here one here and a zero here right so this will give me the max zor value which is all set bits right so using the property of zor we can always decide what i need to keep as the mask this is called the bit mask and operator is already fixed and so i can get the max value with this given k value right so if i have this 101 then i have to decide on a mask our operator is already fixed to be the zor and i will get the maximum result so i will have to always record this mask value in our answer so if i'm given 101 then i will write 010 and then i will definitely get all the set bits so this k value 2 will be recorded in our answer now let's say the maximum bit was not 3 but 4 but our n value was same then in that case i will be taking 4 bit representation 0101 and I know that if I take the mask to be 1010, 0, 1, 0, then I will be getting all the set bits, right? So this will be recorded as an answer, right? This will be recorded as an answer. Now, another way to solve this would be if you take this 101, then you can take the ZOR operator and uh, you should not think about anything. You just set all the bits and whatever value you get, it will be 0, 1, 0. It will always be the max K value it will be the max value we whatever we wanted to find we wanted to maximize the value of k right so this will be that value so in the zor it does not matter even if you move the result up the mask will move down okay so what happened was with 101 if you take 010 you get all the set bits but if you move all the set bits up you will get 010 in the result and this is happening because if whatever is the value that is given if you zor it with all the set bit then it will flip all the bits it will flip all the bits so the zeros will become one and the ones will become zero so this is a property of zor okay so using uh, these two optimizations let's look at the optimal solution in this case our array is two three four seven so i will calculate the prefix zor by going from left to right and i had already shown this we will get two one five two okay let's say our max bits is equals to three so our k value which i can keep is always seven which is all the set bits and i had already explained why we will do that right so now let's take each of the values one by one so the first entry in the answer array will be for all the items in the array so i'll be iterating from right to left the first item is two so let's take two and then i will take all the set bits and whatever value i get will be the max k value so this will be recorded in the answer similarly i will repeat for this five if i take this five then I will take all the set bits and so all the bits will get flipped and this will be recorded in our answer as the max k value and I will repeat it for all the items. So our answer will be 5 comma 2 comma 6 comma 5. Okay. I hope this solution is clear. The time complexity is order of n for the pre-computation and order of n for iterating and finding the max k value and building the result. So you can say the time complexity is order of n. The space complexity is for the prefix or okay the space complexity will not be counted for the answer array now let's look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number we are given the nums array and the maximum bit so i will be finding the number of items in n and uh, pre-calculating all the prefix or values so the prefix or array will be built here i will be taking the answer array for recording the result and then i will be building the mask which will be all the set bits right 
and uh, after that i will be iterating for all the items from right to left and then i will be pushing back all the result one by one all the max values of k recorded and finally return the result so i hope this solution is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you